Uh, GP is the uh, CEO of the start company Ambient Scientific. So the uh, GP has been working on the uh, semiconductor industry for uh, two decades. I think the three years ago, he co-founded the uh, the uh, uh, the Ambient Scientific, where he is a CEO now. So the Ambient Scientific is working on the difficult problems of AI for sub, uh, for achieving extremely low power consumption. So I think uh, that's a very interesting topic, and uh, especially the focus of a lot of people in this room. So I think the GP has a lot of to tell us today. So uh, welcome, GP. All yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, first of all, for inviting us. Uh, we are very excited. Actually, what we are going to show you um, that a lot of concepts that you heard in uh, uh, in Burr's presentation, we actually have made it possible. I mean, we being a startup are focused on solving the current problems, but we have also achieved a lot of uh, um, the concepts that are presented in the previous two uh, presentations. So let me talk about them. I have only 10 or 12 minutes, so I'll try to go quickly and show you what we have been able to do. We probably not have time to show how we have been able to do as the, uh, you know, the other two uh, presenters were able to show it to you. Um, so battery power devices, uh, uh, both the previous speakers focused a lot on energy efficiency of uh, doing AI computing, and no one needs AI computing um, uh, efficiency more than the devices that are battery powered. When we talk to customers, these battery powered devices are really, really dying to get the power or the cap uh, capability of AI. But there are no good solutions today. A lot of good research work is going on, as you also saw. But the current solutions, which uh, are uh, which provide AI to a lot of these uh, uh, these uh, devices that you uh, hold in your hand or you wear in your ears or somebody wears for the Medicare or for the uh, healthcare devices, they all have a sensor chip that communicates uh, the data from the sensor all the way to data center to the cloud where the inferencing or the AI training is done, and then that results are sent back. Now, these mechanisms are unreliable, they take a lot of time, and more importantly, they are very expensive. So the way to solve this or the way to provide AI capability to these devices that we use in our everyday life will be to enable on-chip AI computing, which is the main topic of this <laughs> conference, by the way, to enable on-chip AI computing or on-device AI computing so that uh, 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 so that these devices do not have to connect to data center to do their computing. We have made it possible, and I will repeat, we are using a lot of concepts that uh, have been discussed in these two uh, um, papers, uh, except we are using more industry standard or industry available uh, processes and industry available manufacturing. So how do we do this? Now, well, the main function is just invent, invent, and invent. Without inventing at a grass, grassroot level, without inventing at all levels of uh, chip design and uh, software, it's not possible. We have invented in software. We have invented at SOC level to reduce the power consumption of, uh, of AI computing. We have uh, invented our own uh, um, own uh, ISA or instruction set architecture with our own custom um, uh, architecture. And we are actually able to do 4-bit, 8-bit, 16-bit, and 32-bit computing. And I'm very excited and happy to report that we do actually use big part of the analog concept that have already been uh, uh, discussed. And what Burr did not uh, actually explain to you, the main problem about doing analog AI computing is not just the Kirchhoff's law and the current and uh, conductance multiplication, but it is actually how do you convert from analog to digital? That is actually the fundamental problem of analog AI, which we have been able to solve. Of course, 
we do not use any exotic material or we do not use material that are not in production so our analog uh, is more of a semi analog so we call it a digan technology digital analog technology and that uses sram to do analog type computing and we do use all of the concept that were explained to you in the previous and to do that we have constructed very specialized uh, circuit blocks that are actually able to do the entire matrix compute that were explained to you uh, into one monolithic circuit which we construct from transistor level up we have also constructed very very specialized memory to enable in memory computing without need to refresh the weights and without the need to refresh the uh, inputs after every computation we call that a 3d memory it actually uses the very similar uh, architecture as is prevalent in uh, industry but we have tweaked it enough to make uh, uh, an analog or a mixture of digital analog uh, uh, computing possible and by doing so we are able to do very efficient uh, ai computing and we are able to do 4 bit 8 bit 16 bit and 32 bit this allows us to use the existing software infrastructure where the training is done in 14 point and 16 bit and 32 bit uh, precision is good enough to translate all of the floating point uh, pre trained model or retrained models into uh, an inference engine which we provide all of these designs are of course patented um uh, I'll just give you an idea about uh, where we uh, fit from market perspective. There are a lot of AI chip companies. They are all uh, into what you will call more than one watt range. On the x-axis here, you see uh, many applications that I have uh, plotted: uh, training, uh, automatic driving, and small servers, going all the way to small sensors like our headphones or our heart rate monitor or ECG monitor or a um or a fall detection or a sports uh, analysis these are all uh, devices that require very very low power consumption but as you can see most of the companies around 60 to 70 companies worldwide today are providing solutions in exactly the method that uh, were explained by uh, optimizing the digital design for a particular application and there are many big companies as well including ibm that falls in this category that where they are providing the solutions today if you look at uh, a power consumption below 1 watt there is not uh, oh, i just forgot to mention nvidia provides solution in almost all of these areas going uh, above uh, 6 or eight, uh, 10 watts all the way to 400 500 watts uh, 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 servers below 1 watt there are not many company that do so uh, sentient jir uh, falcon i forgot to mention green wave the only company that fit into this category our technology the one we have invented will be able to provide you solution that goes from uh, from 10 microwatt all the way to uh, to around 1 watt or less than 1 watt to provide a wide range of applications and enable them we uh, also uh, our engine is able to program all kind of uh, uh, ai algorithms including lstm gru cnn uh, smaller transformer uh, models and uh, and uh, and uh, if a uh, 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 or or dense, dense layers and if an application developer wants to do mix and match that we support as well uh we will be uh, so we are a ai processor company that is fully programmable and able to cover all of these uh, application areas our first product i will just show you for uh, all of you to see this is already there it has been started uh, shipping to uh, to uh, some customers with the development kit which i'll show you here this uh, is a entire development kit that lets you a uh, major power consumption less you major performance less you develop your entire application and this just plugs into a laptop and uh, uh, you can sit on the beach and develop your ai algorithm uh the size of the chip as you saw is actually very small we are able to provide 
512 uh, gigawatts, which is 0.5 tops. This is sufficient for plethora of these uh, applications that uh, are what you would call embedded uh, applications that are traditionally powered by microcontrollers. They will all transform to our chip. Uh, we are able to do uh, power consumption for some of the applications, as I explained, uh, all as low as 10 microwatt. Uh, one example is a weak word uh, detection, uh, which is like a Siri or Alexa, or we can make it customized weak word. We are able to do, do below 100 microwatt. So best in class, miles ahead of competition, I have listed a couple of them. If you look at power consumption for uh, audio weak word, 80 microwatt is our power consumption. This is the full system power consumption uh, as compared to around 3000 microwatt using uh, accelerators and uh, 10,000 microwatts using general purpose microcontrollers. If you look for camera application, the nearest competition is around 220 milliwatt or 1000 milliwatt. The performance, uh, we have two companies. One is providing 0.24 uh, gigawatts, another providing 49 gigawatts. And in terms of uh, efficiency, we are able to get, uh, to do much better than purely digital design. Little bit lower than the numbers that uh, 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 Burr showed you in uh, his design. Um, we have this uh, available right now as a development kit. Uh, we will provide you the entire uh, board and you'll be able to run Windows 10 based Eclipse uh, integrated design environment. Then um, able to do uh, the, uh, you'll connect through the JTAG and you will be able to do the training within this environment and all of the development also and debugging within this environment. Uh, applications I'll mention, these are unlimited unbound applications. I will display them again just for <laughs> a little bit more uh, visibly or clearly. Uh, always on voice or other voice applications where you design your own wake word or a whole menu for appliances, for uh, robotics, for voice authentication, for vending machine, for headphones. In computer vision, we can service uh, surveillance, presence detection, occupancy detection, gesture recognition, and a lot of sensor fusion applications, including disaster alarm, uh, uh, emergency response, sports, healthcare, intelligent IoT, drones, um, all of these applications we are able to serve, and many more that are being invented every day. This is available as solution today, and. Uh, at a glance, this is how the chip looks like. It's an integrated SOC. Uh, we put the sensors outside, either camera, microphone, and eight other sensors can be simultaneously connected. We have designed everything from scratch, including a sensor DMA that can mix and match and do pre-processing of the sensor data. We have five core AI engine. This is our own core, custom instructions, custom design, and we use analog digital or digital analog mixture of analog and digital to do the AI computing, which is very efficient. And by doing so, we are able to achieve very low power. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, in features, it is a general purpose. Uh, you can build your own AI algorithm, uh, software defined, and the algorithm can actually be changed even on the fly, uh, dynamically. It has dynamic precision control, means the software, uh, while the algorithm is running, can switch between 4-bit, 8-bit, 16-bit, and 32-bit precision. Uh, this is all fixed point. And we are uh, able to do on-device training because we are uh, we are able to support 32-bit uh, uh, precision. All of the uh, clocking or the analog to digital converter to ingest uh, uh, the sensor data is all integrated on this chip. Some power numbers I'll display for you. A weak word, less than 100 microwatt, we achieve 80 microwatt. Always on, on weak word plus menu for designing a vending machine or appliances will be with uh, 80 to 200 microwatt. Always on computer vision, we depending on the speed uh, of uh, inference, we will be able to do 5 to 40 milliwatt. And always on sensors with 100% duty cycle, we'll be able to do as low as 20 microwatt. These are numbers that you can see with our uh, system right now, uh, if you were to avail our system. The software is very matured. Uh, you have, uh, we provide you a completely integrated system where uh, you'll be able to launch training mechanism, which will connect you to the data center if you need, or if you're willing to wait, it will happen on your small uh, laptop as well. 
these are remember these are smaller uh, networks uh, maybe a few hundred uh, layers maximum uh, this is sufficient for all of these applications so we are uh, developing the complete uh, software structure where people will be able to program in python and c++ and higher level language and push the button and get their application up and running and uh, uh, we would uh, support as the time goes by we will start supporting pre-trained model if you have uh, pre-trained the model in some other uh, space or other tools we'll be able to do that as well we are able to do that today for the voice application and the image applications and some of the sensor applications but if you want to develop your own neural network that is completely custom and uh, is uh, is all your ip we'll be able to do that as well so time to market we have developed another uh, uh, mechanism where uh, the, the some of the neural network for some of the application has been hard coded for uh, voice applications for vision applications for uh, sensor fusion applications and for predictive maintenance and industrial applications here the neural network is hard coded and the person just uh, does api call or the application developer does the api call to make these applications happen as we move forward this uh, first chip that i just showed you this is a pretty small chip we can put multiple of them and enable more uh, exotic uh, applications including laptop based uh, ai acceleration or a small gateway based ai applications or a small server based ai applications uh, we will be working as time goes by for 512 core machine this is a very scalable architecture and even 2000 core machine where we will be able to achieve beta block or beta ops computing uh, very soon once we start uh, uh, start to have these projects outside right now we are uh, we have this in hand is 40 nanometer chip built in tsmc and is able to achieve the wattage that i just showed I will summarize lack of time uh, as I said I uh, will tell you what what we do we don't have time to explain how we do it uh, except that one slide or we have made battery powered AI computing possible full stack uh, software solution is available uh, we have done breakthrough innovations at many levels more than 50 patents um, and more to go uh, and we have first product already in sampling and very rich uh, software infrastructure to help you develop your application. That's it, I tried to keep it very short. And if we have time for questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. If uh, not, just write me an email or our team will be more than uh, willing to support you. I think due to the uh, time limitation I would, that uh, our audience will send you the question that I have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, uh, you. thank, thank for GP once again. Okay, so the.